Fresh air entering the lungs carries oxygen to the alveoli. The amount of gas in air or of gas dissolved in a fluid can be expressed as partial pressure, which is measured in millimeters of mercury. The partial pressure of oxygen in the air within the alveoli is 104 millimeters of mercury. Carbon dioxide that enters the alveoli from the blood causes the carbon dioxide concentration in the air of the alveoli to be 40 millimeters of mercury. Carbon dioxide is continually removed from the alveoli as air is expired. Blood coming from the heart at the arterial ends of the pulmonary capillaries has a partial pressure of oxygen, or PO2, of 40 and a PCO2 of 45. Therefore, oxygen diffuses from the air in the alveoli into the blood, and carbon dioxide diffuses from the blood into the alveoli because of these differences in partial pressures. Oxygen and carbon dioxide diffuse until there is no difference in partial pressure in the air and the blood. At this point, there is no more net movement of O2 or CO2. Therefore, at the venous ends of the pulmonary capillaries, the PO2 in the blood and alveoli is 104, and the PCO2 in the blood and alveoli is 40. Some oxygen was removed from the blood to nourish lung tissue. Therefore, the PO2 in arterial blood leaving the heart is 95. Oxygen diffuses out of the arterial ends of tissue capillaries into the tissue fluid, then into the cells, and carbon dioxide diffuses out of the cells into the tissue fluid, then into the blood, because of differences in partial pressures. At the venous ends of tissue capillaries, the PO2 in the blood is equal to the PO2 in the tissue fluid, and the PCO2 in the blood is equal to the PCO2 in the tissue fluid resulting in no more net movement of O2 or CO2. The blood now carries the O2 and CO2 to the lungs. In the body, all of these exchanges occur simultaneously.